Today, we delve into the remarkable path of embracing solitude in Live Alone, Live Fully, a voyage brimming with self-discovery, empowerment, and profound personal growth. Settle into a comfortable nook as we embark on this enriching journey together. Have you ever pondered the lessons solitude can teach us? Living alone transforms us significantly, and perhaps ancient Buddhist wisdom can guide us toward finding joy and evolution in solitude. These reflections propel us into a unique exploration. It's not merely about solitude, it's about uncovering new aspects of our inner selves amid tranquility. In the hustle and bustle of modern life, the prospect of solitude might initially strike fear. The absence of constant social interaction and the usual din could feel daunting. Yet tranquility holds unexpected gifts. Solitude affords us the opportunity to introspect, to mature, and to perceive life from a refreshed perspective. This expedition is not about loneliness. It's about relishing the silence, understanding ourselves more deeply, and finding contentment in our own company. But how do we begin? How can we transform a silent space into a sanctuary of peace and enjoyment? Buddha, a prince who discovered profound happiness in solitude, left behind invaluable teachings. His insights teach us how to be courageous in fear, to live in the present, and to rejoice in self-awareness and the deeper understanding of our surroundings. In this narrative, we learn to appreciate solitude find stability through life's transitions, and recognize the beauty in simple moments. Join us on this adventure of living alone. It's a journey about growth, healing, and discovering internal happiness. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Artist at Living. Your support enables us to continue sharing inspiring stories and ideas with you. Stay tuned and embrace the challenge. Embracing the challenge of solitude. Embarking on the solitary life might feel like stepping into a vast, quiet room for the first time. The silence can seem overwhelming and slightly intimidating. You might wonder how to make this quiet space feel welcoming and how to be at peace with just your thoughts for company. Yet, this step marks the beginning of an extraordinary journey. This journey is about embracing silence rather than evading it. Think of the silence as a canvas, ripe with possibilities to create something unique and beautiful, a space to genuinely connect with your inner self and discover who you are when alone. Buddha spoke of finding balance in life, not too much or too little of anything. Solitude teaches us this balance it's not about loneliness or cramming every moment with activities to avoid silence. It's about discovering a gentle peace in our moments alone, learning from them, and gradually filling them with meaningful pursuits. During this journey, we become our own companions. We learn to be comfortable with our thoughts, find joy within ourselves, and cherish our own presence. Starting with setting intentions for our alone time, living in the moment, and practicing mindfulness, solitude also fosters self-reliance. We take small steps toward accomplishing things independently and finding joy in our solitude. Establishing a daily routine offers our day's structure and purpose, akin to a friend accompanying us as we acclimate to solitude. As we grow accustomed to solitude, we learn to nurture ourselves, not only physically, but also spiritually and emotionally. Patience and kindness towards ourselves become vital, recognizing that solitude need not equate to loneliness. In the quiet, we have the opportunity to intimately know ourselves. Meditation, a central element of Buddha's teachings, allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment. This journey of living alone is not merely about confronting fears, it's about evolving through them. Buddha's profound realizations in solitude show us that being alone can lead to beautiful personal growth. As we grow more comfortable with silence, we uncover our inner strength, 
which stems from finding peace within, enjoying our own company, and living authentically. Living alone is not just a challenge to overcome, it is a journey to relish. It's an opportunity to establish a robust foundation of self-awareness, self-care, and self-love that enriches every aspect of our lives. The challenge of living alone marks the beginning of a profound path of self-discovery, teaching us to find calm in solitude, strength in silence, and happiness in our own presence. Inspired by Buddha's timeless wisdom, this journey reveals that the challenges of living alone are not hindrances, but opportunities for growth, learning, and deeper contentment. Confronting loneliness, embracing solitude as a path to connection. Living alone inevitably brings us face to face with loneliness, a universally familiar sensation. However, within this loneliness lies an opportunity to delve deep into our own psyche and understand our connections with others. Instead of shunning feelings of loneliness, we can accept them as a natural aspect of human experience. Indeed, loneliness can draw us closer to both others and our own inner selves. We all encounter loneliness, and this universal truth can be comforting. Acknowledging that loneliness is a shared human experience helps us feel connected, even in solitude. It's a reminder that the pursuit of friendship and love is a universal endeavor, inherently normal. Buddha taught that all phenomena, including our emotions, are transient. If we view loneliness as clouds drifting across the sky, we learn to release our grasp on these feelings, fostering patience and self-compassion during such times. Through meditation, we can sit with our loneliness, observing and learning from it, and ultimately find peace with its presence. This can transform a potentially painful experience into a profound guide that enhances our self-understanding and clarifies our desires for connection. Loving-kindness meditation, or metta, begins by fostering self-compassion, particularly when we feel isolated, and gradually extends this kindness outward. This practice reinforces our interconnectedness, even amidst feelings of solitude. Finding a community, or Sangha, as Buddha referred to it, is more crucial today than ever. This community might include online groups offering support and a sense of belonging, lightening the emotional load of loneliness and providing reassurance that we are not truly alone. Engaging in creative activities like writing, drawing or music allows us to express our emotions, connecting us with others who share similar feelings. In solitude, we can discover a unique peace that is often elusive in the chaos of daily life. This tranquility becomes a source of strength and solace. Building deep, meaningful friendships also helps alleviate loneliness. It's the quality, not quantity, of these relationships that counts. Buddha's teachings remind us that understanding and confronting loneliness leads to profound self-discoveries and a more peaceful, connected existence. The Art of Self-Sufficiency Navigating Independence Learning to live alone is akin to embarking on a grand adventure. It's about more than managing daily chores. It's about crafting a fulfilling, joyful life while maintaining connections with the world around us. Initially, we master basic skills, cooking, cleaning and financial management. These tasks, while seemingly mundane, teach us responsibility and self-care. Each meal we prepare or bill we pay marks a step towards greater self-reliance. Buddha emphasized living and earning in ethical and fair ways, and cooking becomes an act of independence, not just nourishing the body, but also the soul. Enjoying the food we prepare allows us to be present and find joy in simplicity. A flexible daily routine aids in balancing work, rest and leisure, maintaining health and contentment. As we grow more independent, exploring new hobbies and acquiring skills not only keeps us engaged, but also fosters personal growth, self-discovery and confidence. 
True independence involves recognizing when to seek help. Reaching out for advice or companionship is crucial. Independence doesn't mean isolation, but finding a balance between self-sufficiency and community engagement, as Buddha's Middle Way teaches. Self-care extends beyond the physical to include mental and emotional well-being and mindful interactions with the environment. Discovering inner peace, transforming solitude into sanctuary. Discovering inner peace while living alone involves transforming quiet moments into personal sanctuaries where we can feel calm and content regardless of external circumstances. The initial step is recognizing that peace stems from our responses, not from changing our surroundings. Solitude offers a unique chance to practice this awareness, helping us to cherish the quiet, find comfort in our own company, and utilize this time for personal growth and serenity. Meditation plays a pivotal role in achieving inner peace. It serves as a tranquil pause where we can simply breathe and be present, observing our thoughts as they pass like clouds in the sky. This practice steadies our emotions and promotes calmness amidst life's flux. Being mindful, whether we're eating, walking or cleaning, helps us focus on the present moment, enhancing our enjoyment of the little things and fostering a pervasive sense of peace. Creating a peaceful environment at home also supports inner calm. A tidy, organized space, perhaps enhanced with plants or a dedicated quiet area, makes it easier to feel peaceful internally. Learning to embrace our own choices, free from the concern of others' opinions, is crucial. Living alone allows us to listen to our inner desires and make decisions that truly reflect our values. Accepting the inevitability of change is key to maintaining inner peace. Life's natural ebb and flow, with its ups and downs, should be met with the understanding that change is part of our existence, allowing us to remain peaceful in any situation. Engaging with nature through walks in the park or sitting by the water reminds us of the tranquility and beauty in the world, fostering connection and calm. Establishing a routine that includes time for rest and enjoyable activities is vital. Balancing activity with quiet relaxation and engaging in spiritual practices that deepen our sense of peace and connection. Growth through adaptation. Learning and thriving alone. Adapting to living alone is akin to embarking on an adventure filled with life's twists and turns, growing stronger with each new challenge. Initially, this transition may seem daunting due to the inherent changes and uncertainties. Yet, these very changes are opportunities to discover our inner strength. Each challenge encountered in solitude is a chance for personal growth, akin to exercising a muscle. The more we face and overcome these challenges, the stronger we become. Embracing the dynamic nature of life allows us to find peace in adaptability, akin to dancing through the rain rather than waiting for the storm to pass. Adaptability, the skill to adjust and find joy amidst change, is crucial for growth. Like a tree bending in the wind, we learn to stay flexible and maintain balance no matter what life throws our way. Every new skill or hobby we adopt not only enriches our daily life, but also showcases our capacity for growth. Knowing when to seek help is essential. True independence doesn't mean going it alone, but smartly reaching out for support when needed. Staying connected with others, even when physically alone, provides a network of support and reminds us we are part of a larger community. Taking good care of ourselves, body, mind and soul is vital during this period of adjustment. Just as a plant needs water and sunlight to thrive, we need proper nourishment to grow. Reflecting on our desires, goals and aspirations can lead to significant personal change and growth. Adaptation and growth are continuous journeys, presenting new opportunities each day to learn, evolve 
and uncover strengths we didn't know we had. By learning to adjust to living alone, we cultivate resilience, balance, and the importance of continual growth. This journey of adaptation and thriving teaches us that every challenge is a chance to learn more about ourselves and enhance our connection to the world around us. As we navigate life's changes, we become stronger, more resilient, and more deeply connected, turning the experience of living alone into a profound opportunity for personal and spiritual development. Seventh, embracing personal freedom. Living by ourselves unlocks a unique type of freedom, providing the space to explore who we are and what brings us joy. It's akin to holding the keys to our own domain, where we have the liberty to make decisions, try new things, and grow in ways previously unimagined. Living alone gives us the chance to truly get to know ourselves. We decide what to eat, what to watch, and how to spend our time free from the influence of others. This autonomy helps us to identify our preferences and dislikes, deepening our self-awareness. Exploring new hobbies or activities, like painting or learning to play the guitar, becomes an exhilarating opportunity. These pursuits not only offer enjoyment, but also deepen our understanding of ourselves, injecting excitement into our daily lives. Setting our own schedules is another benefit of living alone. We have the freedom to decide when to go out, when to stay in, and how to organize our days according to our own needs and desires. Managing our own budgets and solving problems independently builds trust in our abilities and fosters a sense of independence. Living alone also empowers us to pursue our dreams and set personal goals, whether they relate to career, personal projects, or self-improvement at our own pace. Tailoring our living space to our preferences and style makes our home a true reflection of our identity, a cozy sanctuary where everything from decor to ambiance is chosen by us. Enjoying solitude is another valuable aspect of living alone. Spending time with our thoughts allows us to reflect, dream, and simply be. This quiet time is invaluable for self-discovery and understanding what truly matters to us. It also provides the space to explore our values and beliefs without external influence, enabling us to live authentically according to our principles. Embracing the freedom that comes with living alone is an ongoing adventure of self-discovery and personal growth. It's about learning new things about ourselves, embracing change, and enjoying the journey of living life on our terms. Ultimately, this freedom is empowering, helping us uncover our true selves and create a life that aligns with who we are. Eighth, cultivating contentment. Living on our own offers a unique opportunity to experience true happiness and satisfaction with our lives as they are. Contentment is about finding joy in the simple things, expressing gratitude for what we have, and realizing that happiness often stems not from external sources, but from within. Appreciating the everyday moments, like the first sip of coffee in the morning or watching a sunset, encourages us to recognize the blessings that surround us. Practicing gratitude daily fosters a sense of contentment as we become more aware of the good already present in our lives. Setting and achieving personal goals, no matter how modest, also boosts our sense of fulfillment. This not only makes us proud of our achievements, but also promotes a positive outlook. Learning to be content in the present moment rather than always seeking something in the future, is essential for true contentment. Being fully present and savoring the now brings a profound satisfaction that enriches our everyday experiences. Simplifying our lives by decluttering, focusing on what truly matters, and letting go of unnecessary stress can lead to greater peace and contentment. Enjoying our own company is crucial, Finding peace in solitude, indulging in hobbies, and embracing our thoughts 
all contribute to our overall happiness. While we cherish our alone time, maintaining close connections with friends and family enriches our lives and enhances our happiness. Being compassionate and gentle with ourselves, especially during challenging times, is vital. Treating ourselves with the same kindness we would offer a good friend helps maintain inner peace and happiness. Contentment is a daily practice, not a one-time achievement. Each day presents new opportunities to find joy, express gratitude, and appreciate the beauty around us. By focusing on the present, expressing gratitude, and simplifying our lives, we can experience deep contentment and fulfillment leading to a more profound and joyful existence. Ninth, spiritual exploration and enlightenment. Living alone provides a peaceful environment conducive to pondering life's deeper questions, such as our beliefs and our connections to the wider world. It's an exceptional opportunity for personal growth and spiritual exploration, allowing us to tune in more closely with the universe. During this period of solitude, we have the freedom to explore various methods of finding inner peace and understanding. Whether it's through meditation, learning about different spiritual traditions, or quietly reflecting, we can discover practices that resonate deeply with our hearts. Meditation, in particular, plays a significant role in this journey, aiding us in connecting with our inner selves and the surrounding world. By clearing our minds and practicing mindfulness, we can achieve greater tranquility and gain new insights. Creating a dedicated space in our homes for contemplation and spiritual practices can greatly enhance our connection to the divine. This sacred space acts as a sanctuary where we can focus and find solace. Exploring spiritual literature and teachings broadens our understanding and introduces us to a diverse spectrum of wisdom, enriching our perspective on the universe. Nature also serves as a profound teacher, inspiring awe and fostering a deep connection to all living beings. Engaging with others who are on similar spiritual paths can provide support and fresh perspectives. Expressing gratitude for the blessings in our lives cultivates a positive mindset and deepens our sense of contentment. Acts of kindness and service to others are integral to our spiritual journey, fostering a sense of interconnectedness and compassion. Viewing this journey as an ongoing practice allows us to continually grow and evolve, enriching our lives with newfound joy and insights. Exploring our spirituality while living alone transforms our solitude into a transformative experience, enabling us to delve deeper into our beliefs and connect more profoundly with the world. Tenth, achieving independence and empowerment. Living on our own is akin to embarking on a grand adventure where we learn to rely on ourselves and take charge of our lives and it feels exhilarating. It's about discovering our inner strength and making decisions confidently, mastering self-care skills from cooking to home repairs, and becoming the captains of our own ships, navigating life according to our own rules. Wisely managing our finances is crucial. Planning our expenses and saving enables us to make independent choices. Keeping our living space neat and organized instills a sense of responsibility and pride. Making decisions independently, from daily choices like what to eat to major life plans, enhances our confidence and autonomy. Setting personal goals adds excitement to our journey. Pursuing our passions and achieving our aspirations fills us with a sense of accomplishment. Living alone allows us to explore our interests without external influence, discovering what truly brings us joy and pursuing it wholeheartedly. Learning to tackle challenges independently sharpens our problem-solving skills and self-assurance. While solitude is valuable, realizing that being alone doesn't equate to loneliness is crucial. It's a time for reflection and relaxation. 
Nonetheless, maintaining connections with friends and family provides support and companionship. Growing into our independence is an ongoing process. Every day, we become more self-reliant and resilient. Living alone isn't just about having our own space. It's about discovering our potential, following our dreams, and feeling empowered to create the life we want. This journey demonstrates that we possess everything we need to thrive independently. In conclusion, living on our own is a profound adventure of self-discovery and empowerment. It's a time of learning to find happiness in our own company, making our own decisions, and finding joy in doing things our way. Throughout this journey, we learn to take care of ourselves, manage our finances, and create cozy spaces to call home. We set goals, pursue our dreams, and face challenges with confidence, all while cherishing the support of friends and family. Living alone teaches us to tap into our inner strength, become more self-assured, and appreciate the little things in life. Each day presents an opportunity for growth, courage, and gratitude. It's about being proud of our accomplishments and knowing that we can handle whatever life throws our way. Ultimately, living alone is about crafting a life that brings us peace, happiness, and genuine contentment. And even when we're on our own, we're never truly alone. We're connected to the beauty of the world and the love of those around us. As we conclude our journey together, I extend my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for joining me on this path of self-discovery and empowerment. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, comment and share it with your friends and loved ones. Your support helps us spread positivity and inspiration to more people around the world. Until next time, keep embracing the beauty of living and thriving on your own terms.